Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Uh, before we actually begin today, I want to say thank you guys for my first 100 subscribers. That honestly uh, is a really big milestone for me. This is my first, uh, you know, time get getting 100 uh, subscribers on YouTube. Uh, it does really mean a lot to me and it does give me a lot of motivation to uh, continue these videos and to uh, continue outputting this content. Uh, if you guys wanted to see any other type of content or um, if you guys obviously have any types of suggestions for reviews or anything, uh, please let me know because I'm always uh, trying to uh, develop uh, this channel. Um, but let's get right into this uh, video. This is actually um, a really highly suggested video um, as well. Uh, people have been asking for doors and there's not many good tutorials or um, anything really uh, for doors online for uh, Game Builder Garage. So I, I felt like, hey, why not? You know, so uh, we're going to go ahead and go into our editor and let's get started. So uh, for objects, we're going to get characters and then, you know, our person, of course. Um, if you guys have watched my um, other videos, actually, let's go and <laughs> let's get a new person. Sorry. Um, if you guys watch my other videos, you kind of know the drill. This is going to be a, uh, third person camera just so it is, um, kind of easy to see everything, um, especially our door. Uh, left stick movement will be for the, uh, actual character and then right stick movement will be for, um, the camera. So let's go ahead and get our up and down, left and right for the left stick and then our right up and down for the camera and then our right left and right for the camera and then for the camera since it is a third person um we're going to be moving that up and uh setting our y and z coordinates to exactly these and if we go in the game uh perfect we got a perfect third person camera ready um Okay, so now we can actually start working on the doors. So uh, what we want to do is go to connections and hinge connectors. Uh, these are the connectors that you're going to use basically for doors. Um, these work, you know, for any type X, Y, and Z um, connections, but we're going to be using Y. Um, and then we're going to make our door object. So um, I have set out uh, the exact measurements just because um, I'm going to be using a texture on this door that I've already um, completely measured before this video. Um, so you guys can actually copy, you know, these um, measurements, but um, you guys can obviously, you know, make them however you want as well um, for your doors. Because if your project's different, your doors are probably going to be different. Um, so we have our door. Uh, let me actually make sure, um, make sure movable is, um, on, I accidentally turned it off and for connection point, we will be doing, um, X plus and X negative just because it will be connecting to, um, the right wall that we're about to make right now. So for the right wall, go to objects and we will be, uh, making this not movable because, um, obviously it's not going to be moving. It's a wall. Um, and then for the size, then again, I did these measurements already. So, um, you guys can either copy them or, um, do your own and Z is 0.10. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put that right next to our door. So now we're going to go ahead and connect, um, our door and our, um, wall. So for the door, uh, we connect the bottom to the top of the hinge connector and then our uh, wall will be connected from the top to the bottom, just like that. And um, we're going to actually go ahead and map our hinge connector. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, button X. And um, if you guys don't know how hinge connectors work, basically they work from a range of negative 180 to positive 180. So depending on what input you give this uh, hinge connector, that's the position it will move from. So uh, that means we're gonna need a constant. And since our door is gonna be moving 90, um, we're gonna go ahead and put 
90 like that like that and um since obviously we want to press x and also at the same time give an output of 90 we're gonna have to get a uh multiplier node on um so we're gonna go ahead and connect those two and connect that to our hinge connector so basically what this should do is um when we press x uh obviously this is an input of one and this is an input of 90. so what's happening is when we press x um, it gives us an output of 90 because it's basically just 90 times 1. Um, so let's actually go ahead and uh, build our uh, second wall just for um, the visual looks, I guess, so you can kind of see it. And we're also going to go ahead and put a box on top. Make sure it's the same. I'm just doing this just so it, it looks kind of... Um, you know neat and clean um okay so uh that should be it let's go into the game and uh that's the texture i'm going to be applying here in a second but you can kind of see the cutout here um and if we press x there we go um that is our door right there so we can actually go in again see there we go so we can open and close it just like that um let's go ahead and apply uh, the texture that I have over here so we can kind of see better uh, here we go so now if we go in the game now we see our texture uh, is there and then we can open it and close it um, and I could I can complete tutorial uh, tutorial there like like that but the only problem is um, if we go anywhere on the map we can press X and spam X and um, that door will open, you know, and I want it so that when we get close to it, uh, we press X and then, um, it opens. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, I'm going to actually be editing this a little bit. So instead of, um, applying this X, we're actually going to be doing, um, a few more things. So since we need to be, you know, in a certain area, we're going to go ahead and take out our uh, touch sensor. So basically, when we are touching this, uh, it will basically send an output. So um, for right now, we're going to do visible um, and we're going to set the check what to person because it's going to be checking if our person is in the proximity. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, scale this so that we could basically be kind of around it and then we can push x and let me go back into that view and what's going to be connected to our touch sensor is we're going to be needing a um and and i'll kind of explain why so uh let me get an x button or x button and i connected the, the touch sensor to the and already um so basically if our player touches this um it will send an output there and if we press X and if we're in it, then it will uh, it will send an output there. So basically, it will then give us, um, you know, truly an output for the and statement. Um, so then we can actually go ahead and uh, let me move this a little bit down. But we can actually go ahead and just connect our and to our uh, multiplier. Because basically what that is doing now is this is getting uh, an output of one. And it's timing, it's timing, uh, well, it's basically one times 90. Um, and let me move that down there. So it's one times 90, and that's exactly what we need for the hinge connector. So basically, I can go in the game now, and if we go ahead and see, we have a box. Um, if I press X right now, nothing will happen. See, I could press X wherever, but if we go up to the box and press X, there we go. Now it opens. I can go ahead and show that again. Um, I can go and press X as many times as I want to outside of the box, but nothing will happen. That's because the and statement picks up if we're both in the box and if we press X inside the box. And there we go. We can go through the door and you can apply this to pretty much any door you want to. Um, and if we want to get rid of that box, which we probably do, uh, go to the touch sensor, make it invisible 
And then now if we go ahead and go in the game, there we go. So I'm pressing X right now. And if we go up to it, we can then press X and then get into the door. Um, I, I kind of want to add like a prompt maybe like on the screen that says like press X to open, you know, um, which I could do definitely in a later tutorial, but I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully everything was kind of explained. I kind of went a little bit fast, um, but hopefully you guys could follow. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, thank you everyone for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Um, hopefully I'm going to upload another video today, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day and, uh, thank you for subscribing again. Uh, bye.